so man, we're back with another video on Bleach Rebirth of Souls, and today we finally got Renji, man. I know y'all been waiting for him, and now we can actually finally see what he's going to be bringing to the game, but we're not going to waste any time. We're going to hop straight into this, and I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with him, but today's anime question is going to be, who is your favorite villain from Bleach, man? Let me know in the comments. I know I'm probably going to hear a lot of Grim Jowls and Aizen and all that stuff. Let me know, man, but let's go ahead and just let me just go hop in here, I and mean, we know how we do these things, man. We watch the trailer through one time, and then we come back and we break things down, man. Okay, what we got, bro? People have been waiting for Renji for forever, man. Renji? Zabimaru? Oh, Zabimaru! High spirited? Ooh, okay. Ooh, let's go. What's the range looking like, though? Nice range. Ooh, that is nice range. Ooh, that is nice range. Sorry, I accidentally have the thing on, man. I accidentally have this thing. Bro, that is crazy. Oh, that was the signature signature action that had uh, all that damn uh, range. Okay. Ooh, Bankai. Heal, Zabimaru. Okay, what we got? Oh my lord, bro. And we got a new map. Bro, that range, but that looks slow as hell. Ooh, that is crazy. You know we gotta break this down. Okay, man, so we break Renji down. This character is bringing some unique, different concepts, and I like it. So first, we see the Lieutenant of Squad 6. He is a high spirit warrior who always looks after his friends, but is also capable of cutting through the entire battlefield with his versatile swordsmanship. His signature move is going to be the sweep, a large cleave attack using Zabimaru that can be used up to a total of three consecutive attacks. We can actually see these three consecutive attacks when we're actually seeing the trailer. Powerful one-sided attack that can be executed from a range that is comparable with projectiles. So we, this is based just you know him just basically zoning and like I said we saw this in the actual trailer where he does like a horizontal slash then he does a vertical slash then he comes back with another horizontal and this is pretty cool especially you know if there's no meter at all with this you're gonna be basically be able to spam this and keep people off of you the next move to spiritual pressure move one is going to be the sumiji kaze and basically Renji spends his body while extending Zabimaru to sweep the area after the attack hit it knocks the back of the opponent allowing Renji to get into a favorable position so basically you can knock them back with the spiritual pressure move and then maybe you can also come with the signature action, which is basically going to allow you to do some things and keep people off you. But we've also seen that Renji can also use his sword in a closer, smaller form that allows him to actually hit you while he's close up. But it definitely seems like this is a character that you're going to want to keep people in a mid-range area so they're not getting too close to you. And the spiritual pressure move too is where things get interesting. And this one says, Oath of the Soul. For a short period of time, the attacking power of special flash attack, signature move, and guard gauge depletion increases. So he's going to be able to break through your guard faster. Also, while Oath of Soul is in effect. Special flash attack and signature move recovers from a weakened condition after Bankai is cancelled. So that seems a little bit confusing, but once you actually see the description of the Bankai, you'll actually understand that last sentence. But basically, this is basically a boost that is going to give him some higher attack power, and it's going to allow him to break through your guard quicker. So this is one of the other characters that we're seeing giving themselves self-buffs. We also saw this with Udihara. So let's actually look at the Bankai to understand everything else. And the Bankai explains the spiritual pressure move too. When Renji releases his Bankai, he heals Abimaru you can use overwhelming reach and power to smash your opponent with powerful and dynamic attacks. Renji's Reishi also fully recovers when Bankai is used. If you're not understanding that, it basically means he gets a full health bar. He gets his full health back, making it easy to recover from a losing situation. However, when Bankai is canceled after a certain period of time or when his Reishi is cut off, his abilities will become weak. And this is the first time we've seen a character talk about their Bankai not lasting for the rest of the match. Actually, when we actually saw the gameplay from the Kruby inside, each of the characters when they went into their Bankai's, they stayed in it for the duration of the match. But we've seen now that Renji is not in his Bankai for the whole match, that he can actually fall out of it. And that's when you actually look at the spiritual pressure move too, where it says that you're basically not going to be able to get your special flash and also some of your moves back as quickly whenever you come out of this Bankai form. So this is very interesting because it's going to make us think what other characters are going to have limited time in their Bankai's, depending on if they can actually hold these forms for a long amount of time. This adds a different concept and just a different method, but we can also see with this that whenever Renji activates his Bunkai, it looks like he's like in a different area, not the same area that we saw in the map. We don't know if this is actually just completely a fresh new map or if this just happens whenever Renji activates his Bunkai. but I'm going to go with the fact that this is a new map, but even though I don't really recognize what this place is, let me know in the comments if you can actually tell what this is. And the last description basically just says strong reach abilities to keep opponents at bay with a powerful attack based Bunkai. and we actually see this and the range on his Bunkai is just crazy how he's hitting him from like 
like halfway across the screen, man. But let's go ahead and look at this video. So this time around, we're gonna watch it slow down and try to break down all the moves that we saw from Renji since this character adds a new concept to the game, which is pretty interesting. Let me know in the comments who else do you think is going to have a limited time Bankai. So we can see things starting off and we've been seeing everybody fighting on this map but we can see him unlock the Shikai release and the battle starts. And we can see a basic combo from Renji in the beginning and you see his sword is actually small. It goes from being small and also to extending. We see the signature move. This is free, no meter and you see the first strike, the second strike and then you got the third strike. That's basically what the signature move is. The first spiritual pressure move that is going to just spin around, he's going to knock them back. And then maybe you can follow it with your signature move if you want to do that after. And we're going to see two activations of it. The next spiritual pressure move too, we're going to see the Oath of the Soul, which is basically just a buff. And we actually see him giving some red aura around him. And then we can see him getting some damage off on Byakuya. We get the same animation that we've been seeing for most of the characters for activating the reverse action. Then we can see Renji popping out the Bankai, man. And I didn't mention also, you can also see that his outfit changes just like how it does in the anime. It's pretty cool, man. Roar Zabimaru. And then we can see the gameplay of the Bankai with how crazy this range is, man. This is absolutely insane. Look at that range. And it just makes me curious how good the tracking is, but you can see it's pretty slow. It's slowed down right now, but even when we were watching it live time, I said it in the thingy that it was kind of slow, so it's going to leave you open. And I'm curious how long you're actually going to be able to use your Bankai state. And then we can actually see the finishing move. This is probably going to be the one to end the match. And then they give us a final a little description at the end man but that's what we saw with Renji he looks very interesting and like I said his Bankai being limited is a different feature that we haven't seen yet and from the last video we're gonna come back next week and actually look at the stuff that they talk about with Renji on here but they updated soy phone and they basically added you know a description about her a character who excels in high-speed combat using her this is supposed to be her it says his Zanpakuto and Byakuda he she excels at combat that incorporate the unique techniques and can continue to launch unilateral attacks with without allowing her opponent to take action. However, she has a low amount of spiritual energy and lacks durability, so it's important to play in a way that does not give the opponent an opening to counterattack. So this is how they're going to balance her. She's not going to have a lot of health, and she's not going to have a lot of spiritual energy, meaning that she can end the match very fast if she can hit you with her spiritual pressure move twice, but also you can finish her off quickly if you're playing up against a sloppy soy form. Let me know in the comments how y'all actually feel about this balance that they made for her, and let me know how y'all feel about Renji after seeing his gameplay and also knowing that Bankai's aren't going to be permanent for certain characters. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. And I'm going to see y'all in the next trailer breakdown next week, man. We out.